Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Nick Gosarl, and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. And today we have another good slate for uh, college basketball. As uh, we're going to quickly go over our plays from yesterday, they went eight and seven, so we are now twelve and nine on the year. We had Bryant hit for plus twenty-two and a half. We had Ohio hit plus fifteen and a half. Longwood hit at plus eight, uh, eighteen. I got it. Yeah. Uh, Utah State, they hit at plus 3 and the money line. NC State minus 20 hit. Arc Pine Bluff hit at plus 34. Uh, let's see what the other one. Uh, South, uh, San Diego State hit at minus 13. And Grambling State hit at plus 27. We did miss on Virginia as they got upset yesterday by uh, San Francisco. Uh, we missed on James Madison. Uh, NC Asheville, Memphis, Louisville, Louisiana Tech, and Western Carolina were all misses. So, but today we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays for you. And the first one is, uh, in the one o'clock games, we have Drexel at plus 10. Uh, the model has this projected for Pittsburgh to win by five Point six points, which gives us four point four points of value for this game. So the first pick here is Drexel plus ten. Next we have for the USC Upstate versus Furman game, we have Furman minus nineteen. Furman's projected to win this game by twenty three point six points against USC Upstate, which gives them a 4.6 uh, value for this game. So, so far we have Drexel plus 10, Furman minus 19. Next we're going to look at is Alcorn State taking on Kent State, and we're getting Alcorn State with the points plus 17 and a half. Our model has them losing by 13.1, which gives them a 4.4. Um, points of value on this line for that. Let's scroll down. Next one is MD Baltimore. Uh, this was at plus two earlier. Uh, I'm only going to bet this if the money line comes out because I want I want uh, MD Baltimore on the money line, but plus one and a half against St. Francis. Uh, in order for it to hit value, it needs to go back up to plus two. Um, it's at three and a half points of value because they project Baltimore to win by two points. But if this money line comes out, I'm, I'm probably going to bet that. Uh, but I'm going to wait for this to go back up to plus two. Let's see, next will be, oh, did I miss one? Oh, Chattanooga is not on this right now. I must have taken that off. That was going to be one of my best bets. They're supposed to win by 7.8 points. So if you see Chattanooga on your uh, sports book at minus 2, they are projected to win by 7.8 points, 5.8 points of value. I would look to bet Chattanooga. Um, next is the 4 o'clock game where we have Elon taking on high point. And actually this... This line's actually gotten more in a more uh, favorable for our value. I had them at minus eight earlier. They are now minus seven, and they are projected to win by thirteen point two points in this game. Now giving them a six point two, which means I'm probably going to double up on Elon here and uh, bet a little bit more on them because uh, that's looking like a two point or a two unit type of play. With the amount of value you're getting on Elon. Elon is my best bet for today. And finally we have Loyola Marymount. Taking on Minnesota. And I'm going to be taking the points with Loyola Marymount. Uh, they are projected to lose by 9.8 points. Which gives them 4.2 points of value on this line. So to sum up today's action. We have Drexel plus 10 points against Pittsburgh. 
We have Furman minus 19 points against USC Upstate. We have Alcorn State getting plus 17 and a half versus Kent State. Uh, we are waiting for MD Baltimore to go up to plus two. Then we also have Elon at minus seven. And if you have it in your book, Chattanooga minus two is another really good play as well. But that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below who you are betting for today's college basketball slate. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.